In this video, we are going to discuss about interfacing the IR sensor with Arduino and I used a software called Tinkercad for this project and here we need to go to circuit and select create new circuit. Upon doing this, we'll get a blank workspace along with components list. And in the components list, we need to search for Arduino, drag it into the workspace. Similarly, we need to search for breadboard as well and drag it to the workspace. It would be better to rearrange the components in order to avoid the confusion while wiring through the components. So I'm rearranging the components a little bit and it is set. Now all we need is a PIR sensor. So this is the PIR sensor. Let's quickly go through the connections. The power terminal of PIR is given to the 5 voltage of Arduino and the ground is given to the ground port of Arduino. In order to avoid the confusion between these two wires, let's set the power to red color. So red is the power wire and green is the ground wire. Now signal, let's give it to pin number 13 of Arduino. Similarly, we'll change the color to yellow. So this is the input wire. And this is the power wire, ground wire, etc. And now for output, we need an LED. We can change the color of LED. Let's say I'm changing this to blue. And LED is for output because PIR sensor is considered as input by Arduino. And the cathode terminal is given to the ground. We need a resistor so that the amount of current flowing through LED can be controlled and the other terminal of resistor is given to pin number 7 of Arduino. Let's change the color to blue in order to indicate that it is an output wire. Coming to the working of PIR, the PIR sensor itself has two slots in it. Each slot is made of a special material that is sensitive to IR. When the sensor is idle, both slots detect the same amount of IR, the amount radiated from the room or walls etc. When a warm body like human or animal passes by, it first intercepts one half of the PIR sensor which causes a positive differential change between the two halves. This sensor value is noted by Arduino. So this is the working of PIR and I rearrange the connections in order to make it look a little bit neat and clear. The LED output is given to 7 and signal input signal is given to pin number 13. This is the input wire, this is the output wire. So these are the basic connections. And uh, in order to program our Arduino, click on the code and select the text option. Here it is already there in text. There you can select the text or blocks or whatever you want. But I prefer text and I'm changing the code, the default code given by the software to my own code. So this is the code. In this, calibration time is the amount of time taken by the sensor to give a low impulse. And low in is the amount of milliseconds. The sensor has to be low and as you can see pin PIR pin is given to 13 LED pin to 7 and for Arduino PIR pin is considered as input and LED as output it is written over here and initially PIR pin is set to low for calibration of sensor within the calibration time that is given over there like 30 seconds so after 30 seconds a message pops up showing sensor is active after that, PIR sensor works in two loops. In first loop, when a moment is detected, PIR pin is set to high and then the LED starts glowing and then a message pops up showing that motion is detected at particular time. And when the motion is stopped, PIR pin is set back to low, LED is low and then a message pops up showing motion ended at some particular second. So this is the second loop. The changes can be observed in serial monitor. So let's start the simulation to find out. Now I started the simulation. As you can see in serial monitor, you see a message saying calibrating sensor, which is written over there. So after 30 seconds, you'll get, you'll get a message saying sensor is active. Let's wait until 30 seconds. So we have to get the message of sensor active and this is the sensing area of the PIR sensor. 
so when the body moves in this particular sensing area that is when pir pin is set to high and we'll get a message saying motion started at some particular time as you can see here in serial monitor we got a message saying sensor is active now let's start the motion the motion is started and you already got the message saying motion detected at particular seconds i stop the motion and as you can see in the code it was written over there and i started the motion again and stopped it at exactly 40 seconds now the me next message is to get the motion end at time so as you can see we stopped the motion at 40 seconds and we need to get a message saying motion ended at 40 seconds which we got in serial monitor as you observe so this is how the code works and thank you for watching this video